and I will see you next year in a new video and um, have a great <laughs> hello there and welcome back to Achola's closet how are you guys doing I hope things are well it is your girl Achola and today on Achola's closet we are talking seven little mistakes that I think is making you look less fashionable but before we jump into the video, first I would like to say I am really sorry for the little hiatus in the last couple of months. To be quite honest with you, um, after I went on vacation to Vegas and um, came back, I kind of felt a little uninspired in a way, um, which was not a good thing. I don't know why. But you know, every now and then I'll get an idea as to what my next video should be about or what I should shoot. But then I procrastinate and then never got it done, which is terrible. And so today I kind of just told myself, what's a better way to kickstart a new year than learning from our mistakes and then move on forward and do better. So today I thought we will kickstart this by doing seven little mistakes and hopefully we'll learn from that as we move on to 2020 and do better. I know, that's my wish for 2020. Um, but, with that being said, let's just jump right into it a bit. How was your Christmas? I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Now, Christmas for me is usually, it's like what, it's this time of the year that I kind of just don't know what to expect. Like, especially in the last 15, 16 years, because that's when we lost our mom about 15, 16 years ago. So Christmases have been really different um, in a sense that she's not here anymore and a lot of the traditions kind of changed. I remember growing up um, right around Christmas time, you'll bless you build and then do all of that stuff. And then uh, we'll bake cookies um like like the whole neighborhood will like literally be out baking cookies um it's usually right around christmas eve like the 23rd the 24th most people usually just do it like the night before christmas we used to be late like that um so we'll be up all night baking cookies um, go to bed, but Christmas morning everybody is up bright and early Just to get ready to go to church because you know, you're excited to see all of your family members the Friends from school you go to church After church you come home you have lunch and then after the lunch the fun part of Christmas growing up was after lunch at home all the kids kind of just go out in the neighborhood and you go to all those different houses to get cookies and candies and all of that fun stuff that used to be my favorite part of Christmas and um, if you got lucky some people will give you cash you know because they didn't bake cookies or they don't have candy because you know we don't really have now that I lived here for so long in Canada I realized Halloween here is kind of like how Christmas was for me growing up because Christmas Day will do the same thing the kids do during Halloween, right? Um, and so for me, it's it was just really fun growing up and doing Christmas and um, So now here in Canada, what we usually do is we'll kind of just Get up Christmas Day. We go to church as a family after church, we do lunch um, at the church and then kind of dinner at the house. And this year we had the dinner at my house, which was really great. Um, lots of fun. And then um, Boxing Day kicked in. <laughs> and 
and the struggle was real all day because I had to be at work. But we made it through Boxing Day, came home exhausted, um, but I can't complain. We're here now, ready to jump into 2020, and I honestly cannot wait to see what 2020 brings. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm just looking forward to that. Um, but back to our video for today, seven mistakes. And for this one, I'm actually super excited because this one includes both the male and the female because I realized the mistakes are all the same in a way. They're all the same mistakes. And um, you know, after working in retail for so long, I realized I just, I love fashion and um, I love dressing. I just love putting outfits together, whether it's for a man or a woman. I just, I enjoy that. And um, if you ask me who's the easiest customer, I will tell you men are the easiest customers to deal with. But I am not judging you females. I still love you. Um, but with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. So the number one mistake, and this is the biggest one that I think actually both genders make is wearing the wrong size clothes. Um, now this one bugs me a lot <laughs> and I'll tell you why. You know, when your clothes are too big, you look it looks very sloppy and it almost gives the impression that you don't really care in a way that's how i look at it but then when it's too small now when it's too small i just feel like you are trying too hard or sometimes you just don't even want to acknowledge your actual size or you don't want to dress according to your body. But either way, it doesn't look fashionable. So it is very important to get the size right because I can tell you when your clothes fits right, you already look put together. It's just simple as that. Right size, you look better. Done. That's all you gotta do. Get the right size. And now, off to mistake number two. Sticking with the size is undergarments. People wearing wrong size undergarments. Um, and this goes both ways. Um, for females, Please, 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 when you go to the lingerie store, get fit so that you buy your right size. When you wear the right size, you feel sexier, everything fits and look better, you don't get bulge on the side, you don't get side boobies, if you know what I mean. And when you put on your clothes, it just it sits better. I can tell you that much. The right undergarments is the, every single outfit starts with the right undergarment. That's how I look at it. And I am one of those, um, I'm one of those girls that like to match everything, like my bras and panties have to match at all times, regardless. Uh, maybe once in a while, I'll just be like, okay, whatever, let's just throw that on. But a lot of the times I like them to match because then it makes me feel better. I feel sexier and then I put on clothes that makes me feel even better. There is honestly nothing better than that. So every single outfit starts with the right undergarment. And I cannot tell you how many times I've seen a female looking impeccable as she's walking towards me, but as soon as she turns her back, underwear lines. 
that's my facial expressions at all time. Like, why? Why? Now, when you go to buy panties and bras and whatnot, if you cannot do the thong, I understand that. Not a lot of females can do that. But invest in seamless, like the laser cut seamless or lace underwears that is not going to show when you put on your clothes. Proper undergarments. Um, so now off to mistake number three. Now the third one has got to do with shoes. And this one is for both the male and females. Now when you buy your shoes, the stickers are always at the bottom, right? Make sure you remove your sales sticker. I know sometimes it's so small and they will staple it on there, but do your best to remove that staple. You can use a knife or scissors to remove that staples and then remove the uh, price tag. But you have to be careful too not to uh, ruin your heel. And um, another thing to pay attention to as well is those tiny little stickers here. Like you see how you can see it from a distance there? You wanna remove that as well. And I am super guilty of this. Like I have so many shoes that still have these tiny little stickers under them. I had to remove them all. As you can see, this one still got its sticker. But you want to make sure you remove all of that stickers because it just makes your whole look, makes it look more polished. Take number four that both genders make. Now, when you buy a blazer, especially men's blazer, you buy the blazers, you buy the wool winter coats. Now, I, I bought one that I bought a couple of coats from La Chateau back in like 2009 when I used to work there. And for the longest time, I can tell you, you know those stickers on the sleeve? Yes, it's usually a name and a number. Mine stayed on for almost, I literally removed them maybe five years ago or maybe four years ago. And that's not a good look so please before you wear that blazer or that coat out just make sure you remove that little tag and they usually just stitch it like one stitch on each side to hold it but scissor knife whatever you want to use to cut those stitches and just remove that tag off again makes you look like you put an effort into your outfit and it just you look flawless, that's the word, flawless. Um, again, sticking with your blazers, your wool coats, now add skirts into that. You know the, um, the X stitch on the back of your uh, blazer vents or skirt slit. Every time you buy a pencil skirt, they always have an X stitch. Please remove that stitch because they were there to just hold the garment together in the stores um, so once it's purchased you're supposed to remove that X stitch and when you remove it just take an extra two seconds to pull that thread out completely because I've seen people just cutting that X stitch and then just leave leaving the thread there again it looks looks very messy like I'm not trying to come off a little judgmental but it just it looks a little bit messy when you have threads kind of hanging just threads just hanging for no purpose so please 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 when you remove those X stitch make sure you just take that extra second to pull off those threads as well and think about your outfit as a 360 look it's just it's not just about the front it's about the whole back so then when you turn around show off your back 
we need to be able to see those little details, whether it's the slits or the vents on the blazer. Yes, it all matters. That's why they are there. For accessories, when it comes to accessories and jewelry, less is always more. I know sometimes we think that more is more and better, but that's not true. Sometimes less is more. Now, if you are if you are doing a statement necklace, like something big, maybe just put a stud earring, right? Um, and then if you are doing more of a statement earring, maybe just do do a small necklace or maybe no necklace at all. Same thing with the jewelry, you always want to keep it classic and simple and that goes also for men. You can do just a classic watch that can go with everything in your wardrobe from casual all the way to your suits. Just invest in one watch. That's all you need. One watch. If you are into bangles, then you can get a couple of like bracelets. They have a lot of funky ones for men as well. So if you are into things like that, just invest in few, maybe a gold one or maybe a leather one that you can wear with all of your casual outfits come summertime. Um, but you want to keep your jewelry very minimal. Same thing with the rings. You don't want to wear rings on all of your 10 fingers. Maybe if you're married, you want to have your wedding ring and then maybe just a nice uh, statement on the other hand and that should be enough. You want to learn to balance. If you learn how to balance, it will help you with all of your outfits how to put looks together, it's all about balancing. If you're going to show off the legs, then you might wanna keep everything here covered. If you wanna show a little bit of this, then maybe all of this should be covered. Just one thing at a time. That's all you gotta do, balance, baby. Um, now, last but not least, um, it is your hem. Now, this one goes for both females and males when it comes to your hem you want your whether it's the pant or the skirt you always want it to be the right length you don't want extra fabrics kind of hanging at the bottom of your foot it's not a good look when i see men wearing a nice suit well let's say a nice dress pants and then you have access fabric kind of just hanging at the bottom of their foot it just it looks sloppy and then sometimes it just it makes you look like a kid who's trying to wear like their older brother's pants or like a kid that's wearing their dad's pants and it's just a little bit too big for them it's not a good look so the best thing to do is find yourself a seamstress and be best friends with that seamstress. <laughs> that's what everybody said. But no, you want to find a seamstress that's going to do all of your hems for you. Now, some men like their pants a little bit cropped. You know how ankle pants? Some men like that, that's them so they can show off the socks and their ankle, but that's okay. If you are just a classic dude and you like the simplicity of just nice dress pants, by all means, get that done as well. You don't, no extra fabrics should just be sitting where they're not supposed to be sitting, especially when it comes to dress pants. I mean, for jeans, maybe it's the look you're going for, like that Kanye West style, that's okay. You can do that, but with dress pants, you want it to fit right. Similar things for ladies as well when it comes to your hem and pant hem. If you wear flats a lot of the time, then you want that pants hemmed 
to the perfect length where you're not sweeping the floor as you walk because it's not cute trying to get from point A to point B and by the time you get to point B your pen like your pants bottom is dusty as hell because you swept the floor with your pants no you don't want that like for me personally when my pants are that long I tend to wear heels a lot of the time um, so a lot of my pants usually I don't hem them a lot because I just wear them with heels but if you're one of those people that like to show off your shoes and whatnot and you're going to interchange between flats and heels just have that pants hem to the perfect length and um, you will never regret it honestly you won't and you can do that with your jeans your dress pants your skirts everything. so and that brings us to the end of the video please comment below um, what style mistakes you think should be on this list and I didn't mention and um, also let me know what is your biggest mistake I mean I, d I made all of these mistakes on the list to be quite honest with you so I can't even pick one I made all of this but um, thank you again and happy new year